Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial with FMR Digital Design Papers. The company is owned by a wonderful lady called Tracy. She's generous and humorous and I'll give a link below so that you can sign up to her Facebook page as she often has excellent freebies. This month I'm using her brand new cupcake design papers and I absolutely adore cupcakes, donuts and anything else, especially if they're retro and these are fabulous, pinks, mint greens, cherries, gorgeous stuff. That's uh, one of the sheets, there are five in total so I'm just going to show you those. I really like this one and what I'm going to be doing is a mini ATC cupcake recipe book and I'm going to show you all of the different things that I'm going to be using to create this book so first of all it's going to be these five wonderful sheets of paper that I've just printed out and as you can see I have a magenta pink finger um, because I just reloaded my printer ink so you'll just have to uh, put up with my pink finger so five wonderful sheets of FMR's paper I'm going to be using a Dollar Tree manila file folder this will back my pages for the cover of my book I'm going to be using Dollar Tree um, chopping mats. I call them cutting mats, but clearly they're labeled chopping mats. And you get two in a pack for a dollar. I'm going to be cutting these for the spine and the covers. Obviously, I want my little cupcake recipe book to be workable, so it needs to be washable. And um, these are very sturdy and obviously wipe clean, so I'm going to be using those. I'm also going to be using red line tape. This is extremely strong. Uh, usually when doing a book, I will either use red line or score tape. Both give you a, a great quality, strong finish. I'm also going to be adding some page tabs. So I'm using these Dollar Tree um, acrylic tabs. You get 16 for a dollar. They come in all sorts of colors, but the um, ones that I'm going to be using are the acrylic clear ones and I may add a couple of yellow, I'm not sure yet. I'm also going to be making um, cupcake paper clips because it's always nice to have something attached to the page. So jumbo paper clips, I think these were a couple of dollars from Walmart and there's enough in there to last me a lifetime. I'm going to be using a pretty little tea party type banner die, which is from AliExpress. I'm going to be using a Tim Holtz ATC die, uh, which has corners. I won't be using the corner sections, but I will be using the ATC. For my book spine, this is... Uh, something that not a lot of people um, are aware of. I use this all the time. This is a large medallion die and what it will do is give you the book hinge. Once you cut it and pleat it and glue it together you have a great book hinge for four pages. So that's another Sizzix die. I'll just show you that again. I hope you can still get this one. Large Medallion 3D or Grand Medallion 3D and it's a Sizzix 660260. It's a great die to have, not just because you can make a very large rosette, but because it makes a great book hinge. The next one that I'm going to be using is a very old Tim Holtz rectangle die and this is a Movers and Shapers uh, base tray that you have to use with these. These dies are uh, magnetic and ejection foam so that nothing I cut ever gets stuck in there. So that is my list and I will come back once I've cut everything and I will show you how I will put it together. Welcome back. I have now cut everything out. So I'm just going to put my lamp on here. Sorry about the shine spot. 
I've cut out that medallion rosette die that I showed you and trimmed the top and you can see the embossed creases there which will make it very easy to concertina fold and that will be the hinge for the pages. I have cut four little pages and four manila folder backers that I showed you before so they will be glued together that one onto there so that it has a backer so you can write a recipe or print a recipe out and pop one on there so there are four pages and I will use collage glue to um, glue them together so I've done that and then for the um, actual book covers, I've die cut the cutting mat. As you can see that that particular die is slightly larger than the ATC die, which is just perfect so that your pages don't get creased and squashed. So that will be the wipe clean cover. Then that will be the decorative insert cover and then that will be the backer for the whole thing so that the interior of the book is, is going to be manila folder cream, whatever colour you choose to call that. And I've done the front cover. I've done exactly the same for what will be the back cover. As you can see, it's all going to be wipe cleanable. And then... I've cut extras to cut down for the spine, which will go in this order once cut down. And then, of course, the spine will be wipeable too. So you can kind of see how that is going to arrange itself together nicely. So I'm going to, uh, oh, I forgot these, my paper clips. I cut out two of each so that I can put a foam sponge. Uh, adhesive foam sponge in between to give it a raised appearance and also so that I can hide the top of the paper clip between the two. So I'm going to be doing three paper clips. Now I'm going to glue my pages together. I'm going to pleat and glue the book hinge and I'll be back. Hello, I have finished gluing together the pages and putting the manila backs onto each of the images. I've just got some clips on here so that I know that my pages are going to be good and strong and straight. They are glued in onto that hinge. And these two little sections here, if I hold it up really close, you can see where I scored. Those two little sections will be flattened out and they will go underneath the front cover section. So it will be a wipe clean, a picture, it will be the manila, but underneath the manila will go the spine hinge. Can you see that along there? And then that will go over the top and I will glue those together and that will hold the spine in position underneath the cover. I'll be back when I've done that. I've now completed my small book. I've done the covers. Everything is washable. You can see how shiny that is. The inside of the book, ATC size pages, manila section there, as I said, to write your recipe or to glue a recipe in. The different small pages. It's very, very cute. I love it. And I'm now going to be making um, the paper clips back when I've done that. Here is my completed mini book. And you can see all the little paper clips there. I just think it's really cute. Space at the back between the binder to put a pocket if I want to and to stuff it with even more recipes. I will put all links below. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.